So if you have a check engine light that comes on and it's flashing and then it goes off and then it might come back or something along these lines, then I thought I'd go over the causes and fixes of this and what you should do about it. And so first thing is that you don't want to cause any of the engine damage. And the things that would cause engine damage would be something like low oil or the engine overheating. So first thing, if possible, is go check the engine oil and be sure it's up to the minimum level. There'll be a low level marker on there that the engine oil needs to be above or else it could cause damage to the engine. The engine overheating can also cause damage. You'll be able to tell this by watching your temperature gauge so just watch your temperature gauge if it is getting high then you're going to want to pull over and figure out why but the first two things to watch for would be the low engine oil or the engine overheating that way no extreme damage can happen to the engine there is of course many things that could cause the engine light to come on so the only way to know for sure why the engine light came on is to get an obd2 scan tool and to scan the onboard computer for any possible error codes and this is really easy to do underneath the driver's side dashboard of every vehicle built after 1996 there's an obd2 port and you basically just plug in and it'll read any error codes and tell you what the problem is with the engine and there's many low-cost obd2 scan tools there's some for like low as 20 30 dollars i'll put a link down below if you need one many automotive stores will also do scans for free so if you go around to like an automotive store you can ask them very likely they'll come out and scan your vehicle for free and just tell you what the codes are but the first thing to do is is to scan the onboard computer for any possible error codes. And this will point you to what the problem is. So for example, right here, if you get a P0300 code, it's gonna tell you that the engine's misfiring for some reason, which can be a few things. Could be a bad spark plug, bad spark plug wire, but you'll know where the issue is. Here's another example of a P0101, which is a mass or volume air flow sensor. And if you get this code, it's basically pointing towards a MAF sensor problem, which usually just needs to be cleaned up and it would solve the problem. But basically the first thing to do is to scan the onboard computer for any possible error codes because that's the only way to know for sure what is going on with the engine and what you're going to need to do to fix it. If you can't get a hold of a scan tool to do any scans of the onboard computer, then be sure it's not low on oil and be sure that the engine's not overheating because those are the two main things that would cause damage to the engine if you keep driving. Other types of issues could leave you stranded, so it's definitely something you need to check out. And so while other issues might not damage the engine, they can leave you stranded. So you definitely want to find out why that engine light's coming on, and the only way to do that is do a scan of the onboard computer and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a quick video on what to do if you have a check engine light that's flashing and then it stops and it comes back if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day